Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you guys 10 tips on how to save on Thanksgiving. Let's get started. And a couple of the tips which are towards the end of the list are ones that many people may not have thought of and they're very non-traditional. First of all, when it comes to decorations, and this is just an added tip, use what you already have. For example, this decoration in front of me is probably older than some of you. So I'll start with that first because many times people go out and buy all sorts of decorations and you may already have things at home or if you have leaves outside you can maybe create your own little leaf wreath, things like that. So there's a lot of things that we don't have to spend money on. But the very first tip that I wrote down is create a tentative menu. And what I mean by that is doesn't mean that you have to use that exact menu but write down things that you think you would like to have. That's number one. Number two see what you already have at home. I started actually creating a tentative menu already and I realized when I started writing out all the ingredients many of the ingredients I need I already have at home. So that's a great savings because it's wonderful to be stocked up on things but we don't want to buy too much where it expires or it goes bad and then we're not able to use it and that's what we have when we have food waste. Number three and this is how one of my friends is saving money not having a traditional menu, having something else that's less expensive. She's having some cheese enchiladas which was, is going to save money because they're not buying meat and that's going to save money right there because they're having something non-traditional and they're not going to have a bunch of side dishes. So having a non-traditional dinner that is not your typical turkey and stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy and things like that. You can have other things that are less expensive but still have a family meal. Number four, if you are having family over, you can have a potluck. I remember growing up when we had family and we bought like one great big piece of meat. A lot of times what people did is they all chipped in. So let's say the meat, I'm just making this up. Let's say the meat cost $75 to feed a whole bunch of family members. Maybe everybody brought 10 bucks with them to chip in for the meat. You know, some people brought desserts, some people brought side dishes, so everybody chipped in. They brought containers so people would bring home leftovers, and then that way everybody helped and worked together. So potlucking would be good. Now this is another tip. Number five, this isn't maybe saving directly on the Thanksgiving meal, but this is one of the things I'm going to be doing this year. Because there's only three of us and I'm going to have a dear friend over, a lot of times many of the meals that you make, you end up with a lot of leftovers. So what I'm going to be doing is after the leftovers cool down, I'm going to be creating leftovers to put in the freezer and label them so that those can be for a separate meal. That way they don't get really old in the fridge because a lot of times what happens is you might run out of one of the leftovers quickly, but then you've got tons left over of something else. And so I don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is freeze a lot of the leftovers and use those side dishes for other meals that are not Thanksgiving. Also, basically, this is a big one. Ask your family what they really want to eat. If they could only have one side dish or dessert, what is it? That way, you could just have less. For example, my husband, he would be really happy if all he had was turkey, mashed potatoes and gravy, and a piece of lemon meringue pie. If he had just that for Thanksgiving, that would be all he needs. But for some reason, we all feel like we have to make 15 appetizers, 20 side dishes, 7 pies. We don't need all that. So ask your family members what their very favorite thing is. That way you don't end up throwing away leftovers that are not favorite items. So that's good. So make less. Number seven, buy early. You can start buying some of these things in October. You know, that way it's not a big budget buster. Number eight, shop several different stores, see where they're having special deals. Now the next two and final tips I think are great and I actually had an excellent conversation with one of my dear friends yesterday and she told me, you know, it's wonderful to get together with friends but I don't know why it always has to involve food. What's wrong with just getting together and spending time with a friend whether you're playing a game, you go on a walk, it could be anything. And one of the things that this dear friend does, she says she doesn't cook holiday meals. She goes and she works at a soup kitchen. I think that's phenomenal. So you could go volunteer and not even cook a meal. Or last but not least, who says we have to have a Thanksgiving meal? I always say this at all and I sound like I'm just not very much fun at all. No one says that we have to be obligated to make holiday meals, 
to exchange gifts. But I understand that it's tradition and many of us may even enjoy doing those things. I have to be honest, I enjoy doing them, but it's not something that we have to do if it really isn't in your budget. Or we could really scale down. I'll be honest with you, I think volunteering in a soup kitchen, I actually would not mind doing that instead of preparing a Thanksgiving meal. And that may be something that I really look into doing one of these times because I would love to be able to give back to those less fortunate because I am so blessed with all the abundance that our family has. If you have on any tips on how to save on Thanksgiving or any holiday meal that maybe I haven't mentioned, please put it in the comments below. Also, if you find this content interesting, I'd sure appreciate a thumbs up and please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification. That's all for now. I love you. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.